Hey, yeah, what's up, guys? I'm back again. Um, the last video, I kind of explained. I don't. I'm not entitled to watch this anymore. But luckily, um, we're back on my channel again. Um, and we're real at. And now I've been offered partnership with a network called the Overflow Network, and I should be partnered with them on Monday. So everything will be good then. Um, so yeah, the last video was all my explaining about moving channels, that's not going to happen as it stands or anything. But I'm still going to do a lot of tutorials uh, and that's going to be my main focus from now. So this tutorial, uh, I've got the same color correction, same clip, uh, just thought I'd mention all the clips I use will be my clips unless I need something in particular or I run out of clips. Um, so yeah, Basically we've got the first quad feed on Scrapyard and the second quad feed on Quarry um, and they're going to do this effect now which you can see in a second. Which I'm going to run preview for now. So as we can see it, it transitions there into the motion blur um, over so what you need for this tutorial, for the best effect, you should use real smart motion blur. But to be honest, you can't really tell the difference between real smart motion blur and the motion blur already built into After Effects. So I'm using After Effects CS6. And yeah, so let's get started. So what we want to do is we want to just go back to our original composition which was that, that position position I want to change the position of this to if you hold on one second what was the top of here Right. So there we have the two. Right. So what we do is we use our color correction, as I showed in the last video. If you didn't check that video out, go. Be sure to go back and check. It's like. Right. So, 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 we want to go on our Modern Warfare 2 quarry clip. Um, we want to import two clips, basically, and put the one which you want to transition in to about there. So, there's, it overlaps a little bit. Yep, once we've got that, we then want to create a new layer. And it wants to be a new null object, and we're going to rename this. We call it transit. Uh, we're going to call it the slide transition. Now I'm doing redoing this tutorial as it comes. Um, hold on a second. I'm redoing this tutorial because the last time I did it, I forgot to turn on the microphone, on which, and that's why I keep checking here to make sure it's still on. Right, so. Basically, we've got our slide transition layer, and last time I did this tutorial, I decided to slide it from left to right. This time, I'm going to slide it from bottom to top. From top to bottom, I can't remember. Whichever way it comes. Right, so we've got all our color correction set up, we've got our null object. So we want to set the position of the quarry clip. We want to move that up. To do this quicker, we want to be able to see our quarry clip first, of course. If you do this quicker, you can just hold shift and slide it up. Be sure to make sure you just have the quarry clip clipped. So I'm going to click down here, maybe. I want to just move that up. Oops, what's it gone? Right, so we want to move it right up to the top, so that the two clips are joined together. So if we click P on both of these clips, and click it again, 
I'll remove the vertical height. We want to be able to make sure that these are two joined together and no black white. But we've done that, so we can undo that. Right, now that that's done, we want to click parent here. If parent isn't showing, well, it should be anyway. I don't know what I'm on about. We want to parent these to our slide transition. There. So now I want to move the position of this null no object, maybe downwards at top. We can see that they're both stuck together. And it's one whole composition basically together. Null no objects are very useful, but never really use that often. So now what we can do is go to where we want to start the slide transition. We want to click P on our on our null object. We want to keyframe it. That we want to move forward 15 frames. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, fifteen, fifteen. There we go. Right, and we want to basically move the position down. So that this next clip is lined up. So it just needs moving a bit more. So that's about right. So we can see that this quarry clip is not quite lined up, so we can raise it up a little bit more. And there it should be lined up. Right, so it is lined up. So now we can see that this transition is actually working, it slides down. But what we don't have, which I forgot I left on, is our motion blur. Now you can use Real Smart Motion Blur, which can be downloaded from the Revision FX plugins website, uh, link in the description, or you can use the motion track, the, the motion blur effect. The Real Smart Motion Blur does cost though, so, uh, and it is quite pricey, I believe. So motion blur is pretty simple, but a lot of people forget one simple thing. So this time we don't want to go on slide transition, we want to go on our Model Warfare 2 and make sure you don't double click there. Model Warfare 2 clip, uh, quarry clip and our scrapyard clip. And we want to click here underneath the bits that look like free disks. We we'll click both of them. Now if you notice, it's not actually working. And this is what a lot of people do wrong. You want to click there, which enables reels moment. The motion blur effect. So now that's all that's to it really. It blurs when it goes down. And yeah. It's the same thing if you want to do it side to side. It probably does look better side to side. You can do different effects to transition up upwards. And we'll just play that through for you guys. So quad feed there and then go it transitions into another quad feed. Quite a nice transition, so be sure so like this video, subscribe, and uh, maybe even post a video response of how yours worked out. I don't know. Whatever you guys want to do, that's cool. As long as it's not right. So thanks for watching. Uh, partnership on Monday, hopefully. Um, if ever before we get back to me. Uh, so I've been talking to the CEO. Yeah. And he's, it's all working out. So yeah, remember to subscribe. You can subscribe to my old channel, my inactive channel Scarlet Media which I haven't uploaded any videos to yet or you can subscribe to the channel which you're watching this on now which is probably Xcarder um, so Xcarder that's it peace